What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Caitlin and I are loaded up and we're headed kind of on a spontaneous trip to Kansas to do a little turkey hunting. So we're gonna be bouncing around on some public land and really just seeing if we can shoot a bird or two in the next couple days. So it should be fun. Weather's gonna be kind of iffy. We're still in Iowa right now, but weather's still gonna be a little iffy this week. A little rainy and cold. So we'll see what the next couple days bring. We stopped at Got Culver's and whenever you start off with some Culver's, it's gonna be a good weekend of turkey hunting because Culver's is from Wisconsin and there's a lot of turkeys in Wisconsin. Logic. Logic. Update, uh, we're in Kansas now. We just crossed the line. We're doing some driving around, trying to get a, a feel for the area. Um, and our first problem is, is we're trying to get to some walking ground and they're all off of B roads and it just rained and they are like slick. Um, we saw one other hunter and they like parked on the edge of the B road and walking down the B road to go look at some walk in so that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge we saw one jake so far we've only been driving around for maybe 20 minutes so we're gonna keep looking see if we can find some turkeys but it, it's gonna be kind of limited because a lot of these walk-in pieces are on b roads i do not feel like getting stuck made it to a public piece we're gonna go out and walk around a little bit we drove a lot. We saw a couple turkeys on some private pieces. Um, but we're gonna get out here, walk around, see if we can strike anything up. It's 6.30, so we don't have a lot of time, but we wanted to get out on something and see, uh, see what we see. That was a gobble. No way. Yeah, we were there. Not at you, but there was one. No way. Yes, yeah, swear to God. No way. I swear. See that black dot way over there on the opposite hill side? Yeah, I already looked at it. It's not. It's not one? Okay. For sure gobble, you think? I didn't. I'm deaf, though. It's pretty far, but yeah. Well, let's way. go walk that way. It's probably Maybe down. down. Okay, so. I wasn't lying. Chris finally heard the gobble. And uh, we're gonna go after him. He sounds like he's pretty far out, but this is a draw that we're pretty much walking parallel to. We think he's like hanging out somewhere down at the bottom of it. So that's the plan. But that's the third gobble so far that we've heard in like five minutes. So might be able to capitalize on this bird. I don't see him, but if I had to guess, he's probably about where that cornfield is. Yeah. In the field somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. I don't feel like we ever got close enough for him to saw it. see us. I think he's still up over there. That's like a good tree. everyone we actually did hear a bird tonight and we're pretty sure we know where his, he's roosted so we dropped a pin 
and uh, we might come back here in the morning. There's still a little bit of daylight left, so we will see if we see any more that look better. But other than that, we'll probably come back to the spot in the morning. And I really want Caitlin to shoot the one in the morning, so we'll see. But day one, first couple hours, not that bad. Okay, we're driving around trying to find us a bird. Um, basically just bouncing around at a bunch of public pieces. I just got out and called, see if anything answered, nothing did, and we haven't seen anything in the field. So basically, we'll probably get out and walk around eventually, but it's always nice to see one in a field or something and then go after it. So we'll drive around for a little bit. It's still really early, it's eight o'clock. Caitlin killed her super early, so we'll probably see one. My God, might have to do a little bit of driving, but we'll find one. Okay, we spotted some turkeys right off the road. We're down this B road. Yeah, he's full strutter. Looks like a couple Jakes and a Tom. Or hens. There's one, two, six turkeys all together. So we're gonna come up here and park, come around them through the woods and see if we can call them in the woods. That's a plan, they're not spooked or anything. We never really stopped the charge, so should be alright. Garbage trucks in the back of my Over here. Yeah, it's the dog, I think. Oh, yeah. No, he's not 
not shredding. Okay, I'm gonna try to shoot them. That was a little Tom. Oh my gosh. I don't know how good the footage was. <coughs> Do you think you're on him though? I, yeah, it was in frame. Holy cow. Okay. It was on the and everything. Yeah. <coughs> my arms are getting tired. This is a heavy lens. It is, isn't it? Let's swatch it back up. Okay. Oh I'm pretty jacked. It's it's been like 30 seconds after I shot. We gotta switch lenses. My heart, I could feel. You know when you feel your heart pumping in your throat? Mm -hmm. That's what I could feel. He's a nice one. He had a long beard on him, and they were just being quiet because they were with two other hens and some jakes, and they were just living life and loving life until they just got domed with some long beard XRs. <laughs> um, we'll go check them out. Day one in Kansas. Me and Caitlin shot one on public land. No intel. It's pretty good. It's not bad for a couple of rooks, right? <laughs> I don't know. We've had a pretty good year. Yeah, we have. I don't know if we're rookies anymore. I'm out in the rookie. If you always think you're a rookie, you're always ahead. What is that? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh. Ooh, they're strong. How? Spur ya. Holy cow, look at those hooks. Ow. Look at all the feathers. It's like my crime scene. I mean, by that point, but that was 55 yards. Probably. 50 to 55 yards, that's pretty good. Just for the gun, not for me. Let's see him. Hold on, I don't want to get jazzed in the hands. Oh, yeah, those are some hooks. That's a big bird. Those are just limb hangers. Yeah, that's sick. Try star, did it again. Oh, look at that <laughs> little gap tooth fan. <laughs> That's so funny. Look at this guy, though. Oh, no way! Double beard. Let's go. Is it? Yes, a thousand percent. Look at that. Stud. No way. What are the chances of that? It's like growing off of that. Yeah. Yours is bigger than wow. mine. Wow. Holy cow. Like that one. That's a stud. That one is like freaking six, seven inches long. Can you believe we both shot double beard That's studs? That's so funny. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, and the hooks are, are the hooks, hooks are really freaking good. Wow. Good thing we came to Kansas, eh? We Definitely was a last minute trip. Now this was like the best state. Heck yeah. Oh, man. Well. Now we can get our double up picture. Yeah, we can. We were talking. We were gonna get some photos if I shot one. I was like, if. I'll put the cart before the horse, but hey. All right, guys. This is gonna be the end of the video. We uh, were kind of expecting to take a couple days out here to get this done, but we tagged out before like 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's 9.44 right now. Absolutely crazy we did it. Both double beards, both studs, both on public land. So super awesome. And uh, we are going to go get breakfast now. Ooh. So thank you all for watching. Uh, if you want this new hat, if you're wondering where this is, it's berealmerch.com. Make sure to check it out. And uh, I might call it the new turkey killing hat. Might be a name change to it, but we'll see. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.